All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, first things first, I hope you all had an amazing Christmas yesterday. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below what you guys did. Uh, for me, I basically just laid around all day, uh, watched a lot of football and basketball, ate a bunch of food, and played some games. It was pretty awesome, actually. But anyways, uh, in today's video, we are going to be checking out the details for the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan 3 Goku and also a brand new Kid Buu. But of course, before we talk about what they do, we have to start by watching their animations. So let's pop over to the uh, official Dokkan Twitter page here and... I'm guessing you guys want to see the Goku more than the Kid Buu, at least most of you. So why don't we start with the Kid Buu first and save the best for last. So here we go. I'm going to full screen this. Let's uh, pause the music. Okay. And enjoy. So there you go, those are the Kid Buu animations, and uh, I'm not really sure why, but watching these just makes me really happy. I mean, maybe it's because it's just been so long since we got a new Kid Buu in this game, right? And it's nice to see Kid Buu finally getting some love. Um, the last one was the Int one, which was at least, I want to say, three years ago. Somewhere between like two and a half to three years ago, right? So... I mean, we're long overdue, and he's finally got a new unit, and these animations look very clean. I mean, they're not really too flashy for the most part, except for this last, like, little bit, but they're not really the most flashy animations, but I really like them. I really do. There's just something about Kid Buu, maybe the character. Uh, the active skill is great. As you guys saw, he also has a counter, or not really counter, more of a nullification mechanic kind of like the uh, tech gogeta and also the fizz janemba right so those are the kid boo animations i'm a fan for sure but now let's move on to the uh, goku which i actually haven't seen um the animations for yet i did watch kid boos real quick before we started but this will be my first time watching goku's animations so it should be uh interesting here we go Well, damn, I'm glad I saved that for last. Um, <laughs> the Super Saiyan 3 animations are fantastic, man. I mean, the transformation, the Super Saiyan 3 transformation has got to be, has got to be one of the best transformation animations in the entire game. Um, they absolutely killed that one. Like th this right here, this right here, that is so, so damn nice. But when the animations first started, I was like, 
I mean, nothing new here, man. We see so many Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2 Goku is just like, you know, jumping around, kicking, punching, all that stuff, right? Like, it's nothing too special. But when we got to the transformation and then the, the Super Saiyan 3 attack, I'm like, yeah, that's that's pretty sweet. So both uh, units looking good as far as animations are concerned. Um, I think right now I'm definitely a little bit more excited for the Kid Buu just because we've had so many Gokus, right? Like at this point, I think there's a little bit of Goku fatigue, both Goku and Vegeta, but more so Goku. And uh, yeah, I mean, he still looks great, but if I were to choose one that I wanted more, I would say probably a little bit more on the, the Kid Buu side. But with that said, uh, let's jump over to the details for both these units because obviously that's the most important part so here we go a big big massive shout out as you guys know to the homie Goresh for the translations and uh, let's start with the Goku first so the Super Saiyan 2 Goku leader skill is fate induced battle or accelerated battle categories E plus 3 HP plus 130 percent and attack and defense plus 170 percent Super attack, meteor blast, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. Hold on, let me just uh, turn back the music. Okay. And, uh, sorry, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun. And passive is key plus two, attack and defense plus 180%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, performs an additional attack that has a medium chance to become a super attack and high chance to perform a critical. So this guy has a built-in 50% chance to crit. You do not have to give him more crit chance in his, in his hidden potential system. Although if you wanted to, you could, but additionals definitely make a lot more sense for this unit. And his uh, active skill is the transformation into Super Saiyan 3 and can be used uh, once three turns or more have elapsed from the start of battle and HP is 77% or less once only. So not bad. Um, I could have done without the HP restriction, but it's not really a super restrictive percentage. So I think it's okay. And uh, once you transform into Super Saiyan 3, hold on, let me just uh, get out of the way. Once you transform into Super Saiyan 3, his super attack becomes uh, Super Kamehameha, which greatly raises attack for one turn, raises defense, and causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun. So if I'm reading this correctly, then he's actually infinitely stacking defense after he transforms. And then passive is Ki plus 3, attack and defense plus 200%, Gains an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, performs two additional attacks that each have a medium chance to become a super attack, and then gains an additional attack plus 50% when performing, or sorry, when attacking, and a great chance to perform a critical hit for six turns from first appearance. So the great chance is a 70% chance to crit for the first six turns. And then after that, gains, in high, gains a high chance to perform a critical hit once seven turns have elapsed from first appearance. So from turn seven and onward, he's gonna have a 50% chance to crit, but before that, it's a 70% chance to crit. So you're gonna be critting basically most uh, of the time. And uh, he's getting so much attack as well, man. I mean, 200% attack and defense, and then 50% attack and defense, and then 50% more attack for the first six turns with a 70% chance to crit. I mean, this unit is just ridiculous. He's pretty broken. Um, I haven't seen any, you know, actual calculations yet, but if I were to make a guess, I would say he's going to be putting up Easily, I mean, 5 mil plus. Um, maybe I'm even underselling him. Of course, I'm talking about rainbowed 100%, um, all that stuff, right? But rather, you know, max links and all that stuff. But he's he's got to be putting up 5 mil easily, maybe 6 or 7. Um, it's hard to say. All I can really tell you is he's broken, man. He's, he's really, really broken. 
Um, links, we have Golden Warrior, Experienced Fighter, Prepare for Battle, uh, which becomes Kamehameha after he transforms over in the Flash and Limit Breaking Form. So that is the Super Saiyan 2 to Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And I mean, you guys let me know how you feel about it, but it, it, I mean, it's just busted. What else can I say? He, he's just really, really busted. Like they just gave him some crazy, crazy buffs. Uh, I guess the chance to crit is just kind of standard at this point, right? Like, almost every new unit has some chance to crit on their passive or their super attack, and a high chance to crit just seems to be pretty common these days. But uh, there you go, that is the Goku. Very, very good. And now, let's talk about the Kid Buu. So, his leader skill is going to be Fate Induced Battle or Majin Buu Saga, Q plus 3. HP and attack plus 130% and defense plus 130%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun. And passive is Q plus 3, attack and defense plus 180%, gains an additional attack and defense plus 30% per attack performed, a max of 120%, and then performs an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Recovers 20% HP at the end of the turn in which this character receives an attack and great chance to nullify to nullify unarmed super attacks launched at this character. So unarmed would be basically just physical attacks where there's punching and kicking and stuff like that, right? And then his active skill is War Cry, which can be used when fighting a Majin Buu Saga category enemy or after receiving six or more attacks in battle once only. And you get attack and defense plus 20% for the rest of of the battle. So these kinds of active skills are also becoming somewhat normal, I guess, right? Just these permanent buff active skills, which I like a lot, honestly. Um, you know, it's 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 good to have like a big buff on just one turn, but to have it for the rest, like a smaller buff, but for the rest of the battle is actually more useful, in my opinion. So a uh, great active skill right there and also not too hard to activate. And links are more than meets the eye, brutal beatdown, big bad bosses, Majin, uh, Majin, infinite regeneration, the wall standing tall, and fierce battle. And categories are fate induced battle, Majin Buu saga, resurrected warriors, transformation boost, artificial life forms, Majin, Majin power, planetary destruction, storied figures, legendary existence, sworn enemies, accelerated battle, and global chaos. So that is the Kid Buu. He is also pretty... Uh, quite ridiculous actually he is also uh broken just like the super saiyan 2 slash super saiyan 3 goku i would say um on paper right now it looks like the kid buu is better to start while the goku is going to be better long term with the um super saiyan 3 transformation so once you transform into super saiyan 3 i think the goku will be better than the kid buu but that takes a second, right? Like sometimes you might not be able to reach the HP threshold and it might take you a bit to get the transformation off. And uh, he also, you know, needs a couple turns to stack up that uh, defense, right? But the Kid Boot, right off the bat, I mean, he's gonna be putting up some big numbers. Although he does take a second to build up his attack and defense as well with the additional 30%, right? So, um... I'm still gonna say, yeah, I'm still gonna say Kid Buu is better to start and early, early on in events, but then Goku will overtake Kid Buu in longer events. That's just how I feel right now. It might not be the case, but that just seems to make sense, you know? Um, but with all that said, both these units are really broken, man. I mean, look at, look at the buffs this guy's getting. He's getting essentially 300% attack and defense after two appearances because he gets the additional attack, so yeah, it only takes two appearances basically to get his full attack and defense buff, and then after that, you need to pop the active skill to get the additional 20% attack and defense, but you know, taking six attacks um, in harder events is really not that hard, right? Like, a lot of times you have three or four attacks stacked in like one uh, slot, so you can just put him in front of those attacks, and he, he has good defense, so he's going to be able to take a good amount of attacks. So that's not really a concern either. Um, and his links are great. He has big bad bosses, which is always 
a huge plus. So, yeah. Two amazing units coming to JP soon for the New Year's Duel Dokkan Fest. Let me know in the comments what your opinions right now are of them. Obviously, it's still early. Obviously, we still got some uh, more things to see in terms of calculations, in terms of showcases, all that stuff. But um, just based on my first impressions right now, they're both amazing units, man. And I'm not surprised, of course. Nobody's surprised at that. But uh, I guess it still blows me away a little bit, man, every single time I see details like this, just because it's becoming more and more evident that, like, you know, the power creep is real. <laughs> the power creep is very, very much real. And that's all I gotta say, man. That is gonna be today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, actually, hold on, let me just put on some animations in the background here while we sign out. There we go. Okay, so yeah, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.